So what happens to coffee cherries after they've been picked? Farmers in San Marcos bring their coffee to collection centers like this one. And from here, the cherries are trucked off to be processed into coffee beans. How do we go from this to this? That's right, this stuff is gold. And the magic happens right behind me at this huge coffee mill. The mill is where coffee cherries are turned into coffee beans. So how do we do that? Well, first we take the red cherries and squish them to get the beans out. This is called pulping. The beans are white and covered with a slimy layer called mucilage. We remove this layer, then carefully dry the beans. Now at this stage, coffee beans can be stored for months, even years, because of a thin outer shell called parchment. When we're ready to use the beans, we tear the parchment off through the hulling process. Then we get the final product, the green bean, which you may be surprised to find out has no smell. It's not until we roast the beans that they turn brown and give off the coffee aroma we love so much. These early stages are part of what's called the wet mill process, while these are part of the dry mill process. Okay, we've got the overview. Now let's see all this happen in action. Just when farmers are going home for the evening, the mill is just waking up. Coffee cherries will rot if they sit around for too long. So after coffee is picked during the day, it is processed that same night. During the peak of the harvest season, mill workers like these might work throughout the night until sunrise. In a single night, this mill can process up to 400,000 pounds of coffee beans. That's a lot of coffee! So this is the wet mill. Here, coffee cherries are carried down these long metal troughs full of water. First up, the pulping machines. The pulping machines basically crush the cherries to separate the beans from the fruit, which is called pulp. Now the beans are separated, but they're slimy and sticky because of the mucilage layer surrounding each bean. To get rid of it, the beans go through centrifuge machines. It's kind of like the beans are in a washing machine on a spin cycle. It spins so fast that the mucilage layer tears right off the bean. Once the beans are nice and clean, they're ready to leave the wet mill and go over to the dry mill. On the way there, I notice on the side a huge red conveyor belt going up into the sky. What is that? It's pulp. I'd never thought about this before, but of course, if you want coffee beans, then you also have to deal with the pulp, all the leftover squished cherries. I think it's dropping off onto the ground, way below us. Like, I can hear the splattering of tons and tons of pulp. It sounds pretty gross. Pulp is a big deal. Every two piles of coffee beans comes with three piles of leftover pulp. Can you imagine how much pulp this mill produces in one night? In one season? We are literally talking about tons, mountains of pulp that needs to be put somewhere. Okay, let's get back to the dry mill. Here, surprise, surprise, is where coffee beans are dried. The drying process is very important because if you don't do it right, it can totally ruin the taste and quality of the coffee. Now, many places in the world sun dry their coffee beans on flat patios, but in large mills like this, beans are dried mechanically. In fact, using huge ovens and drums, coffee beans are precisely dried to a humidity of 12 to 14%. To do this, it takes about 24 hours. For most of that time, the beans are tumbling around in these big metal drums. Look at all this coffee! Coffee, 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 coffee. <laughs> when they're all dried, beans are put in gigantic towers like these. Here, coffee beans can be stored for many months until they're ready to be sold. We're now at the last step of the mill. After months of storage, these beans are ready to be shipped out. But first, they have to have their outer parchment layer removed. The beans go through these hulling machines that tear off the parchment. Without this layer, the beans are dark green. Then, the beans go over to the sorting machines, which sort the beans by size. Different sized beans are sold at different prices. At long last, we're at the end of the milling process. 
here is the final green bean. These sacks of coffee are ready to be shipped all over the world. These beans will be roasted and then brewed into delicious hot coffee.